In this lesson, we will measure lengths in centimeters, millimeters, and inches. For part A, we're asked to measure the length of the line segment AB using centimeters as a unit of comparison. This is a centimeter ruler, which means each large unit has a length of one centimeter. To measure the length of segment AB, we line up point A with zero on the ruler, and then measure the length out to point B. Notice how the length of the segment AB is between five and six centimeters. Also notice how each centimeter is cut into ten equally sized parts or pieces, and therefore each smaller length, or the distance between each small tick mark, is equal to one-tenth of a centimeter. So to determine the length, we count out to five centimeters, and then count the number of small tick marks out to point B. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven small tick marks out to point B, which means the length is five and seven-tenths centimeters, which we can write as a decimal or a mixed number. As a mixed number, we have five and seven-tenths centimeters. As a decimal, we have 5.7 centimeters. For part B, we're asked to measure the length of base B of the isosceles triangle using millimeters as a unit of comparison. And the given ruler is a centimeter ruler. So we need to know that one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters, and therefore one millimeter is equal to one-tenth of a centimeter. We learned from the previous example, the distance between each small tick mark is equal to one-tenth of a centimeter, which is also equal to one millimeter. So to determine the length of base B, we line up one end with zero on the ruler, and then count the number of small tick marks out to the other end, which is here. And again, each centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters, so we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32 millimeters as the length of base B. Now for the last example, we're asked to measure the length L of the base of the box using inches as a unit of comparison. So now we have an inch ruler, meaning the length between each larger unit is one inch. To begin, we line up one end with zero on the number line, and then measure the length. Well notice how the length is between four and five inches. To determine the exact length, we need to cut one inch into smaller parts or pieces. So from four inches to five inches, we'll divide this inch into smaller equally sized parts or pieces, we divide it into two equally sized parts or pieces. Each smaller piece is equal to one half an inch. If we divide this into four equally sized parts or pieces, each smaller unit is equal to one fourth of an inch. And this is what we need in order to measure this length. Notice how the exact length is four and one fourth inches. For some lengths, we may need to cut the inch into smaller parts or pieces, but for this length, Cutting one inch into four equally sized parts or pieces was enough to determine the exact length. We may also recognize that one fourth is equivalent to 25 hundredths, and therefore we can also express four and one fourth inches in decimal form as 4.25 inches. I hope you found this helpful.